Hi guys, I'm G and you're watching G's Glasses. I'm back with another video and today my video is a review video. So I'm going to do a review on the Lady Duo handbag. So before we get on to the video, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell sign next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. So guys, let's get started with the review. So as usual, this video also will be in three different parts. The first part will be the history and the review of the bag. And the second part will be what fits inside the Lady Duo. And the final part will be some mod shots. So guys, to start with, the Lady Duo bag comes in this dust bag. It's a beautiful drawstring dust bag, which you can open like so. And to reveal the bag. So that's the Lady Duo bag in the lab skin with the champagne gold hardware. This is in the medium size. As Christine Dio does three more sizes. This is the medium size. So there is a mini version, the smaller version, the medium and the large. And guys, I have done full unboxing of this handbag in my London haul. I will insert the link of that uh, video down in the description box. Um, I bought this bag in London in 2018 September. So I have had this bag for about four months and I've used this bag for about four to five times. I've traveled with this bag. Um, if I give you a small history about this bag, this was manufactured in 1994. And uh, this was not named Lady Duo, it was named something else. Um, I'm going to insert the name uh, right now somewhere. And um, later in 1995, this bag was gifted by the First Lady of France to the Lady Diana, the Prince of Wales. And in 1995, this bag was very popular just because Lady Diana was carrying it and she loved the bag, the functionality of it. She carried it with so many outfits, I will insert some pictures and um, so because of that, this bag was called the Lady Dior bag. So guys, if I give you the measurements of this bag, across this bag is about 20 centimeters and from top to bottom it's about 16.5 centimeters and the width of the bag is about 8 centimeters. So guys, if I talk about the material, of the bag. This is in lambskin. You can also get this in the patent leather which is the shinier version and um, I went for the lambskin because I prefer the matte version. Um, this is, since this is lambskin you have to be a little careful because it can be scratched easily but I haven't had any major scratches. I have traveled with this bag so it's uh, pretty um, okay, it's, it's pretty durable and um, you just have to be a little careful with the zipper pull. You might scratch the um, either sides of the zipper pull for your nails and maybe for your jewellery. So you have to be aware of that. So if you look at the pattern, this pattern is called the canage pattern. Uh, this was inspired by the chairs that Christine Dior used for their runway fashion shows. Um, I will insert a picture, you guys can have a look at the chair pattern and the similarity between the pat canage pattern uh, in the Lady Dio. So I will give you a close up of the bag. I hope you guys can see the pattern. And this bag is made by hand and it takes about 8 hours to do one whole bag. So if you look at the side of the bag, it's narrow from the top and it's wider from the bottom. This is actually an A-line pattern. This is inspired by the first collection Christine Dior did in 1947. The first um, fa uh, clothing line had mostly A-lined uh, clothing. So this was inspired by the first collection of clothes. So if you talk about the hardware of the bag, the hardware color is the champagne gold hardware. I have picked the champagne gold but they also do the shiny gold and the silver hardware. So you can pick your own um, hardware color which you like. So as you can see, all these um, hardware are oval shaped. You can see the rings in the front, they are oval, even the O of Dio is oval. And even these rings are over. So this is also inspired by a chair which Christine Dior used. I will insert a picture. 
even the zipper pull. This is like a medallion. Uh, it does have the CD logo. That is also inspired by this chair, the oval chair. I will insert a picture of the chair so that you guys can have a, a, have a rough idea. So if I give you the details of this bag, uh, as you can see, uh, the CD, the Christian Dior logo is engraved on all these hardware. It's on this side as well. And even on the, uh, on the other side, the CD logo is uh, engraved. And if you hold the bag like so, you can see the handles drop on either sides. This is like the C and the D in the logo. So this also says that it's Christian Dior. It has four feet underneath. This is quite useful. I adore this because I wouldn't want to keep a lambskin bag on the ground. So since, uh, since these feet are there, it's protecting the leather. And the zipper pull, as I told you before, it does have the CD logo on the zipper pull. It's like a medallion and you can open the uh, bag like so. In the medium size and the larger size, you will get this zipper pull. But on the mini size, you don't get the leather pull, uh, the zipper pull. And the medium size comes with this beautiful strap. And it's adjustable. You can adjust it to according to your uh, height. You can adjust the length. If you want to have it shorter, you can put it at a shorter uh, size. So I have actually put it on the shortest uh, size. You can definitely make this longer and use it as crossbody. I will show you different ways that you can carry this bag at the end in the mod shops. Okay, so when you attach the uh, strap, this is how it will look. You just attach the strap on to these rings across. So one will be on the front ring and the other one will be the opposite side ring. So this is how you insert the uh, strap. And this does come with the authenticity card, uh, a little card and a booklet, a care booklet. So you can have a read and uh, you definitely, definitely get uh, this authenticity card with all your duo bags. So if you look at the inside, you can see it's a little tight to show you the inside of the bag. Uh, you do get a zipper pocket inside and, you, and my uh, interior is in black. You get this same canage uh, pattern inside printed to the uh, interior and guys it's a pretty safe bag with the zipper closure. If you want to travel with this, I use this as crossbody when I'm traveling and I actually like to use it on one shoulder as well. So it's a very classy handbag, a very stylish bag, uh, very sophisticated. I actually love this bag. It's a, it's a beautiful piece from Christian Dior. So let's see what fits inside this beauty. So guys, you have to be a little careful when you fit things inside. Because this is lambskin, there is a tendency to scratch your um, leather here uh, around the zipper area. So make sure you slowly open the zipper and then slowly stretch it. Uh, some people might not really like this uh, opening because it's a little narrow but I have no problem because um, I actually prefer this narrow opening because it's pretty safe. The only thing is if you're wearing rings and if you have long nails, it might scratch the leather. So make sure you stretch it out slowly and safely and insert your things inside. So guys, usually I carry this as my cosmetic case the cosmetic case PM size in the Louis Vuitton um, but I will show you, you guys um, it doesn't fit inside the bag because it's a little wide from the bottom so it's mostly the it's actually the same size as the bag so I wouldn't want to try even inserting this uh, inside the Lady Duo so I'm going to replace this uh, cosmetic pouch with the mini pochette so the mini pochette does fit in pretty easily. So what, how I fit it is um, I just turn it around and insert it like so. You just have to um, put it into the corner. And for this bag, I will be using my Chanel card case as a small wallet. 
So this is also in lamb skin. So you have to be a little careful when you um, insert this because the zipper might scratch the lamb skin. So make sure you open it widely and then put it in. Then I'll be carrying my uh, key clay in Louis Vuitton. My six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton again. Let's see if we can fit in the sunglass case. Yeah. So guys, the sunglass case will go in like so. On the other side. So I will also insert my round coin purse. So guys, all that fits in perfectly. I can close the bag without any problem. So you can see how much it fits. Uh, let's see uh, if we can do any other combinations on what will fit inside this. Let's see if a long bottle could fit also. So guys, I have emptied the bag fully again to see whether we can fit in um, a long wallet and fit in some more SLGs. Uh, I have the Louis Vuitton Zippy wallet. This is a bigger wallet. So let's see if that would fit inside the Lady Joe medium size. So guys, it's a little tight fit, but it does fit. It does fit. It's a little tight though. So with my long wallet, I'm going to insert my mini pusher, my six string key holder, my key clay, the round coin purse, and finally my sunglass case. So guys, what I have done is I have replaced the small uh, card case from Chanel with the bigger wallet from Louis Vuitton. So you guys can see still it fits perfectly. It's uh, a little heavy though. I wouldn't fit in a long wallet uh, inside this bag. I would actually carry the smaller um, card case as a small wallet inside this bag, which will make it a little less heavy. As you can see, you can fit a lot of uh, things inside this uh, Lady Geo medium size bag. I think it's a great bag for travel. It's a great bag for, for an evening outing. And if you like, you can even take this bag for work. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this bag for work because um, I, I, for me, it's a little too small. So I would definitely use this for travel. It was very convenient. So this bag was great for travel. Uh, I actually used the little zippy pocket inside to store my uh, uh, passport. It was very accessible. It was very easy for me to uh, pull out the passport in a hurry. Um, and you, as you can see, you can stuff this bag quite a lot. You can carry a lot of items. Um, I think this is a great bag for travel and it's a great bag for an evening outing so you can use this bag for an evening function or even to travel so when you're traveling you have to minimize your items so if you carry a lady duo you just have to carry the lady duo as a crossbody and maybe in the evenings you can use it as a handheld bag for the evening so guys let's go into the mod shots you can definitely take off the strap and carry this without the strap as a handheld bag but I prefer it with the strap so you can just keep the strap like so and carry it as a uh, handheld bag for, a, for an evening function. This will be a nice way to carry this bag. And you can definitely carry it by the crook of your arm like so. And you can also um, use the strap and carry it as a one shoulder bag. I have put the setting at the shortest uh, setting so that the drop is the shortest for me. So as a one shoulder this length is quite good for me. And 
Ella. This bag has crossbody as well. Even with the shortest setting um, of the uh, strap, I can use this as crossbody. I've traveled with this bag um, as crossbody. It's pretty safe because this length is the length that I prefer for a crossbody handbag because I can easily grab the handbag from my hand and it's pretty safe if you're walking around with the bag. However, my favorite way of carrying this bag is as a one shoulder bag. So guys, hope you guys enjoyed my little review of the Lady Dior handbag. So to summarize, my Lady Dior handbag is in the medium size, lambskin and the champagne gold hardware. And if you guys have any other questions that you would like for me to answer, do leave a comment down below. I will answer all your questions. And uh, hope you like the video. If you enjoyed the video, do give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button and the bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you guys will be notified whenever I upload a video. Hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Until then, have a great week.